Germ Proof Your Kids came about because we are living in an really an unprecedented time of confusion and anxiety for parents. On the one hand, we're told that there are superbugs and we have to be cleaner than ever to protect ourselves and our kids. On the other hand, we're told if we overclean, if we overprotect, our kids are going to have terrible autoimmune diseases, allergies and asthma, and the clean is bad. So parents are really in a tough spot. And so the goal of the book is to weigh the scientific evidence. My mother told me I should wear boots when I went out in the rain. Is there basis for that? Is there science and evidence? Turns out there is. Mom was right. Mom was right about a lot of things. Getting enough sleep protects kids from infections. It absolutely protects kids from infections. Appropriate nutrition, vitamin C, protect kids from, new, from infections. And maybe the most impressive infection-fighting technique that parents can have is to get their kids off the couch because in studies after studies after studies evidence shows that you can reduce kids and adults number of sick days by up to 50 percent by simply invoking regular moderate exercise so when mom told us to go out and play she was protecting us from germs at the same time I think uh, parents are prone to uh, one of two extremes Either they say, I need to clean everything that comes in contact with my child because there are deadly germs out there, or they say, let them roll in the dirt because kids, are, kids will be kids and they need to have exposures. The parents who say, I need to clean everything, I need to protect them from everything, um, usually are the ones who are also demanding antibiotics from their doctors. They're usually the ones who are saying, I know it's a cold, but I don't want it to get worse, I want antibiotics. Um, the parents who let their kids roll in the dirt are usually the ones who are saying, my kid doesn't even need vaccines because kids should be exposed to things naturally. Neither of those extreme positions is correct. What's right is that kids should be clean, but not over compulsively clean, because clean is better than dirty. Uh, kids should take antibiotics, but only when they have bacterial infections that require them, not when they have viral infections that antibiotics don't work against. And kids should take vaccines, because vaccines are, in fact, life-saving and protect kids against 16 potentially deadly diseases. Common sense um, plays a big role. We are a healthier society today than we have ever been. In 1900, the infant death rate was 110 babies dying for every thousand live births. Today, because of clean water and clean homes and vaccines and antibiotics, the infant death rate is less than seven per thousand live births in the United States. We are doing things right. Now, will we push that infant death rate and the health of our society even further by being over compulsive? The answer is probably not. So I think that once we get to the point where we feel as we do now that we are a healthy society, that other than a sea change that might come about in a new innovation, um, the addition of silliness to the antimicrobial battle is probably unnecessary. There are products now that are impregnated with antibiotics, toilet seats, linens, towels, um, to inhibit, inhibit the growth of bacteria. No one has proven how any of those antibiotics impregnated in those surfaces ever get out to fight, the anti to fight the bacteria that they're supposed to be fighting, and no one has ever shown that they're effective. So the pendulum may have swung a little bit too far in trying to push our health beyond the level that we currently are. The principles of protecting kids from germs, personal hygiene, home hygiene, good nutrition, exercise, plenty of sleep, when the kids need antibiotics, they need them. When they don't need them, they shouldn't get them. Kids should have vaccines. But what mom told us, the approach that mom gave us, those are good, those are good bits of advice, and there's now science and evidence to show us that mom was right. Everyone watching.